4th of August 1972. Everything completely changed. Just Mum was really crying and everything. You know, we had a lot of phone calls. Everything was normal and then just overnight. There was panic. Where Idi Amin yeah, which was horrible, you know. uh, decided to basically expel all of the Ugandan Asians. We had 90 days to leave the country. Most of the people didn't take any notice of the 90 days notice. They thought he was just bluffing. Idi Amin was quite unstable and could do anything in terms of people coming into homes, attacking women. Driving to the airport, leaving your car, leaving your pets at home, saying goodbye to your guys who've been helping you work at home and so on. It was frightening. We were dicing with life. Standing at the airport, I was behind my sister. The driver was telling us that on his various journeys, they had actually seen people that were arguing with the army and they were just being shot there and then on the spot. My sister was 16 and uh, not allowing her to go and uh, shouting at her and telling her that she's got money. I got strip searched. Uh, obviously they were looking to see if we did have valuables on us. Vividly remember my mother's lips dry, her mouth dry, you know, her eyes full of fear because, you know, we had heard of um, rapes and attacks on women, etc. And my mother really scared that what if they turn around and say she cannot leave. You know, they kind of took away every single penny from my father and my mother and just left us with the clothes we were on. I have vivid memories of the fright on my parents' face, how scared they were. So it was not till the flight took off and it went sort of high, shh, now we are safe. And trying to speak to my mum about it is very difficult because I think they've all suffered so much that they don't really want to talk about it. Well, what happened in Uganda have lived with me for 50 years. The impact of what's happening in Ukraine will live with this country for decades to come unless we take some of the approach we took to Ugandan Asians. We settle them in. Hey, hey, hey.